Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's topic for discussion is kinematic variables. If you did not watch my previous videos regarding kinematics, that is osteokinematics and arthrokinematics, do watch those videos. Okay, let us start guys. There are five kinematic variables that fully describe the motion or the displacement of a segment. What are the five kinematic variables? There are the type of displacement, that's a displacement or motion, the location of the displacement in space, and the direction of the displacement, and the magnitude of the displacement, that's the amount of displacement or the motion, and the rate of displacement that describes the speed at which the displacement or the motion occurs. First, let us see what is that? what are the types of displacement or motion. Generally, there are two types of displacement of motion, which are, which are translatory motion and the rotatory motion. There is other third uh, motion, which is not very common as compared to these two, which is known as curvilinear motion. What is translatory motion? Translatory motion is a moment of a segment in a straight line. Okay? A motion occurring in a straight line is known as translatory motion. In a true translatory motion, each point on the segment moves to the same distance at the same time in parallel paths. Let us see in detail about this point. If you see this example, the therapist grasps the proximal tibia and fibula with his fingers behind and a thumb anteriorly and he is just translating or drawing the tibia, proximal tibia in an anterior direction. The same distance, same time in parallel paths. The same distance between the fibula, uh, femur and the tibia occurs. The same time and in parallel paths. This is parallel. Okay? Uh, in humans, true translatory motion is very rare to occur. Uh, examples are therapist applying translatory motion while uh, uh, while applying a mobilization technique to a stiff joint and another example is uh, anterior droid test to test the integrity of the anterior cruciate ligament okay. now let's see what is a rotatory motion which is also known as angular displacement or the angular motion it's a movement of a segment around a fixed axis and it's fixed axis which is known as center of rotation in a curved path Whereas the translatory motion is a motion of a segment in a straight line. Okay? In a true rotatory motion, each point on the segment moves to the same angle at the same time at a constant distance from the center of rotation. What does this mean? Now let us take an example of a knee joint. Uh, the patient performing a knee extension, the open kinematic knee extension the distal uh, foot is not fixed, it is in air. Okay, when he performs uh, the knee extension, see, from the 90 degrees, okay, he passes on and completes the full extension to 0 degrees. From 90 degrees of knee flexion to knee extension, this is the axis, A represents the axis, which is located at the lateral condyle of the femur, okay. Uh, a true rotatory motion to occur, we have to minimize the translatory motion. If we minimize the translatory motions, then only a true rotatory motion can occur. Okay, what are the examples? This is one example, knee flexion and extension with femur stabilized. Okay, elbow flexion and extension with a humerus stabilized. Elbow flexion and extension with a humerus stabilized. This is the axis at the elbow joint, at the medial condyle of the humerus. This is uh, in the direction of elbow extension and this is in the direction of elbow flexion. And another example is a gymnast along an uneven bar. This is a uh, typical example of a rotatory motion uh, uh, according to the sports perspective. Okay, as I said, this is a not common motion which is known as a curvilinear motion. Uh, curvilinear motion is nothing but a combination of translatory and rotatory motions which occurs in two dimensions. During this motion, 
the axis in a curvilinear motion is not fixed it keeps on shifting okay that axis is referred to as instantaneous center of rotation which is denoted as icor okay this is the example of a high jump athlete along a horizontal bar okay thank you guys